This video is going to show you how to use the partial quotient method of division to divide 5,614 divided by 14. We can see that they have given us 5,614 as the dividend and 14 as the divisor. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw kind of like a large 7 is what I like to call it. And we're going to put the dividend inside of that 7, so 5,614, and the divisor of 14 on the outside. This is really similar to how you would set it up if you were using the traditional algorithm. Next thing we're going to do is take friendly numbers or multiples that maybe we know of 14 and subtract them out. So right away I'm thinking... Okay, I could do 14 times 10, and that would give me 140, but that almost seems too small considering I have 5,614. So I'm going to try 100, and I know that 14 times 100 is going to give me 1,400, and then I'm going to take that away. So I end up with 4,214. Hmm, I see that I didn't really make a huge dent. So this time, instead of taking on 100, I think I'm going to double that because I can double 1,400 and get 2,800. And I'm going to take out, instead of 100, 200. And that should make a bigger dent in my number. So let me try that here. Now, I get to 42 minus 28, and instead of going straight to what I usually do, which is borrow, I'm going to try counting up. So 28, I know, is 2 away from 30. So let me do a little number line here. So I'm trying to go from 28 to 42. So I'm going to hop 2 to get to 30. Then I'm going to hop 10 to get to 40. And then I'm going to hop 2 more to get to 42. So I see that 42 minus 28 is actually going to be 14. So I see that I have 1,414 still um, left that I need to keep dividing here. So let's take out another 100. And I know that's going to be 1,400. And I still have 14. Oh, this works out so nicely. So I can take one more group of 14 out. And I am left with nothing as a remainder, which is amazing. Now, in order to find out what my um, answer is here, I'm going to take all of these numbers here on the right and add them all together. So 100 plus 200 plus 100 plus 1. 100 and 100 is 200. 200 plus 200 is 400. So I should get 401. So my answer for 5,614 divided by 14 is 401. Hopefully that was helpful to show you how to use partial quotients. I also want to show you one other method, and that is um, very similar to the area model for multiplication, but this time we're actually finding a side link. So let's take this problem of 966 divided by 7, and basically I am going to put my 7 over here on the left-hand side. So I have 7 over here on the left-hand side, and then I know that my area here is going to be 966, but what I don't know is what is this side length up here? So what I'm going to do is break it apart, very similar to what I was doing with the partial quotients, and kind of break this area up and try to start guessing on what this side length is. So again, I want to try and take out numbers that maybe of multiples that things I already know. So I'm really familiar with my um, hundreds. So I'm going to start by thinking about 7 times 100, which is going to give me 700. And I'm going to take away that area from 966. And I know that I'm going to have left over 266. Next, I'm going to think about what 7 times something, and by the way, my 100 is going to go up here, 7 times something that gets me close to 266. I could do 7 times 10 and have it be 70 and keep doing that over and over and over again. However, I know that if I do 70 times 30, 
I'm going to end up with 210, which is less than 266. So when I subtract that, I see that I'm going to have 56 still that I need to um, partition out here. So I know that this has to be 56, which means it has to be 7 times 8. And 7 times 8 is 56. 56 minus 56 is going to leave me with absolutely nothing. So I know that 966 divided by 7 is going to be 138. I'm just going to go ahead and add up um, these numbers here on top in order to get my 138. That's just another method that you can use um, to divide if you're more familiar with the area model.